Full Scope Satellite Network. All right, this guy. You know, the last time we had him on the show, we got our highest numbers ever. So I'm sure he's very thankful that we did that for him, gave him that exposure. Anyway, yeah, exactly. Yeah. He's yeah, recently yeah. gained some notoriety in this business as a sports analyst. He's hosting the More Do It podcast, you know, still trying to work his way up to our level. Maybe he'll get Ten close seasons someday. in the NFL, Pro Bowl defensive end. Yeah. Named to that Pro Bowl when he was with the Chargers. So, you know, it was probably a mercy vote there, you know, just to yeah. get oh, the Chargers. Yeah, participation yeah. trophy yeah. Pro Bowl. All them damn tackles I was yeah. beating up across. Uh, hold that on, we're still doing uh, Okay. Yeah, we're not done with your in intro. Your bio, you're, you're all Ivy League. That's not something to brag about. Yeah. I would take that out of your bio if I were I you. never heard of that. Anyway, here he is, Marcellus Wiley. Welcome, oh, back, welcome to the back to the show. I got sacks on a lot of high net worth individuals. That's nothing to brag about. Come on, man. Give me some love. Yeah. <laughs> what were their names? Thurston Howell the Third. Congratulations. Yeah, exactly. All right, All right let's start us off with the uh, top story there, Marcellus. The season-ending yep. injury to Aaron Rodgers. You know, people are saying this is devastating for Aaron Rodgers, but hold on. Yeah. If you know anything about football, the less you play for the Jets, the better. So, no. yes. <laughs> how relieved do you think Aaron Rodgers is right now? Oh, man, will you stop that? First of all, I got respect what? for the Jets. When we used to play the Jets, I played for the Buffalo Bills. Oh, AFC Championship games, they were tilting. Don't act like Fireman Ed didn't have that whole crowd rocking still. This guy's stuck so, in the year 1998. What year are you in? Yeah, what year what are you, you even you talking that, about? Uh, the Backstreet Boys are the best band on the yeah, planet? Yeah, what, the Vinny oh. Testaverde Jets? What are you talking oh, what, about? Oh, oh I'm, I'm sorry. I'm stuck in the past, but everybody was talking in the present. This was a Super Bowl contending team. So not obviously us. it's devastating to them and him not being able to play for them. You stop that. No, you stop that. Yeah, Everybody's you stop. talking about that. You listen to our show, you'll get the truth. Maybe on your show, you're giving out shitty predictions like that. Anyway. No, exactly. You know, all right. This, but to stay on the subject here, you know, a lot of the conspiracy theorists out there are saying that the injury to Aaron Rodgers proves that the NFL is rigged. And they're totally on to something. Just just tell, explain to him, Tony. Yeah, of course. Look at where Aaron Rodgers suffered the injury, Marcellus. MetLife Stadium, yep. named for an insurance company. Okay. Look at where Kyler Murray <laughs> suffered his injury. State what? Farm Stadium, insurance, insurance company. company. Yep. <laughs> they don't care about football. They care about cross promotion. So based on that, don't you think it's clear that these companies are injuring quarterbacks to promote their their products? So clear. Oh, so all the other stadiums where they get injured. Uh, I was at SoFi Stadium. What were they going to promote there? It's nothing to do They're with any of that. They're going to promote your low it, bank the, account. I don't know. It, Banking. <laughs> you're going to get paid if you go over there. Hurt. Yeah. You know what it's about? You're playing football. I don't give a damn where you play it. If you're playing uh, in the front yard, backyard, MetLife Stadium, in the parking cheap. lot, it's All going right, hold to on. hurt you. Yeah. But didn't so you ever walk minded. into a stadium and you're like, oh, shit, this is Blue Cross Blue Shield Stadium. Yeah. I better uh -oh, get the hell I'm out in of trouble. Here. Yep. <laughs> I, no, no. Just like when I go to... Crypto.com arena or something. I don't feel like I am invested well, you, in the that, Wait, you're saying you don't invest in crypto? That's your mistake. No, yeah. you really? And where are you right now? Is that what happens when you... <laughs> Excuse me. This is the finest wood paneling money can buy. Yeah. Yeah, it's not connecting over there on the other side, but I give you that, man. Yeah, the I last like, guest on the show got, got to. put through that wall, and I'm going to put yeah, you exactly. through it, too. You come over here, I'll, I'll put your head right through that hole. Yeah. Well, Not it's a better background than being a, a, a runner-up background. This filled up your egos. I don't know. Oh, what you is kidding going on. me? Look at that. Oh, second place silver. What? What did this? What are you have back, back there? there? A Chargers uniform. That's that's like the definition of a copper medal. Yeah, Chargers exactly. Uniform. You haven't even been near a Super Bowl. Even not even in the parking lot. Yep, you and I have gotten the same distance close to a Super Bowl. No, we, no, we were there last year. Right yeah. on the slippery field, we were and there. And we're going to be there winning this year. Yeah. All right, look. <laughs> look. On the subject of teams that don't win Super Bowls, you know, uh, let's talk about the Cowboys. And I know you're yeah, biased exactly. because you played for the team. Uh, you know, yeah. you, the entire media is talking about how the Cowboys beat the Giants 40-0, to zero, but they're just conven conveniently forgetting to mention that Dak Prescott – had a completion percentage of 54.2%. Horrible. Now, um. let's just compare that number to Trey Lance's career completion percentage, which is significantly higher at 549 So how Way soon higher. do you think Mike McCarthy will be making a move to Trey Lance? 
Oh, man, y'all, he's not making a move to trade Lance for no point seven percentage points. That's not happening, even though he's cheaper, even though he's younger. None of that's happening because he's not better than Dak Prescott. Y'all know Dak Prescott, the dude that owns the Philadelphia Eagles. Y'all know Dak Prescott, oh, the dude oh, that is the you quarterback kidding. of America's team. You know, team. this is pretty sh- shitty analysis for an Ivy Leaguer. You don't even know percentages. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How did you graduate? Yeah, but you don't always go with the higher percentage. You got to go with the guy who does higher in touchdowns, fewer in interceptions. Sorry, last year, Dak, I didn't mean that. Um, and oh, then you also yeah. go with the guy oh, with the see? win percentage. How about that percentage? You want to talk about a percentage? Completion percentage. percentage. That's a quarterback's job is to complete passes. So what's more important than completion percentage? Yeah, you can't even complete a thought, but go. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) The completion percentage is a means to the end. The end is to win the game. Just like touchdowns, just like interceptions, it's all about winning. Who's going to win more in that building? Trey Lance or Dak Prescott? Come on, man. Turn the hat back around so you can think straight. Come on. Well, you're the one who played for the Chargers, so I don't know really yeah. what you know about winning. But okay. You know, but hold on just a moment here. Let's continue this subject here because you're clearly worked up about it. You know, the other week, Trey Lance said something very concerning. You heard this? He said no. he's going to do all he can to learn from Dak Prescott. That's like saying, if I want to learn coaching, I'm going to go ask Jason Garrett. I mean, as a <laughs> former Bad cowboy, strategy. how concerned were you by these shocking comments? Oh, my God. Okay, let's stop here. Y'all acting like Dak Prescott is not top 10 at he's worst not. as an NFL quarterback. And he, Oh, he's not? So how no. do you become the highest paid quarterback at one time great and question. you're not a top 10 quarterback? That's Explain a great question. That. We don't have the answer to that. He's terrible. Got a great lawyer. Terrible? Yeah. Before last year, you would have never let that leave your mouth being that Jalen Hurts was your quarterback. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not letting that happen. Dak Prescott is – Jalen Hurts got him right now, but in totality, career for career, I still take Dak Prescott's career over Jalen Hurts. What? And you would, too, if oh, you didn't have that back. Oh, no if anything hurts, it's my ears from that take. He's not even a top 20 quarterback. We could go down the list. Yeah. Let's let's start AFC East. Josh Allen's better. Tua's better. Yeah. Zach Wilson is better. They're all better than, than Dak Prescott. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just say Zach Wilson out your mouth? Man, I, I think I got a bad Wi-Fi because there's no way you let Zach Wilson come out of your Same mouth. Same record Stop this playing. year. Yeah, put up that side-by-side <laughs> graphic. Look at this. Week one, more touchdown Zach Wilson. Your oh, you got completion me. percentage, Zach Wilson. Yeah. What, you what the hell? That's one game. What You guys got to oh, see, see the whole did, uh, forest. See the yeah, forest. I don't know what you're talking about with forest. We're talking about I don't know what happened. This isn't. This Did isn't you eat been, breakfast today? Or this isn't the forestry right? show. Yeah, I had a terrific yeah. breakfast. I'm going to eat you yeah, for breakfast fantastic. one day. All right. Yeah. Let's move on to a shocking scandal, Marcellus, out of college football. I'm sure you've heard. Michigan State coach Mel Tucker in very hot water over an alleged phone sex call. Now, you know, you've been around football coaches. Hey. Don't you think it's possible this could be you know, all some kind of misunderstanding. You know, didn't Wade Phillips or someone ever call you and say something like, hey, Marcellus, you got to penetrate that open hole or, you know, get low on the center and grab those leathery balls. Yeah. Or, you know, pound you know, that guy so hard. He yeah, can't see pound straight. that guy. Yeah, yeah. Don't you see how easily the situation could get so misconstrued? No, no. I, I, look, I, I can't say that I've never had a conversation with Wade Phillips talking about run through a hole before or penetrate a hole. But it never happened Terrible at 1230 in the morning. It never happened at 1230 in the morning. So Miss Construed is out the window at 1230. If we work together, you call me at 1230, we're working on something else at 1230. And it ain't the job. So no misconstruing there. Uh, I think both of them are lying. If they both would tell the truth, we will get to an understanding that at 1230, only few things occur. We know what that is. Well, what right? are you do? What are you doing at twelve? Yeah, what are you That's doing at twelve thirty? I am sleeping because I have oh. four kids, and they gonna get up at six, regardless of how daddy's night went. So at twelve thirty, if I'm not tapped out, I'm gonna be checked out the next morning. Okay, so based on that, I'm just gathering that your knowledge of the phone sex business is low. Is that what I'm yeah, getting at? Doesn't here? sound I, like I you're an everyone's expert. Everyone's knowledge is low because. Porn is free on the internet. Who are you calling? Just dial up your own damn website and just look at it. You don't have to even bother anybody. They well, don't okay. Well, you know, know, just for the record, 
Tony is much more knowledgeable about this subject than you are. So maybe it was a waste Way of time. More. It was a waste of time. <laughs> we'll time leave to it ask at you. that. All right. Uh, <laughs> hey, you know, you seem to you like talking football so much and you act like you know so much. Ivy Liga. All right. What's mm. your Super Bowl prediction? Go. Yeah. Ah. Uh. I want to say charges out my mouth, but I can't lie right now. Homer. I would yeah. say it looks like Kansas City. Oh. And it lo- has it even thought oh, they, they haven't the even won a game. Out. Now, you're an NFL <laughs> analyst. You're, you're thinking an about this now with two weeks into the season. You should know this already. I, I, I actually wait for teams to play more games. I wait oh. for guys to get hurt. We I already have it done. Up. We already know. Yeah. All right, come on. Go ahead. Give us your pick. He's, What's he's your prediction? Go. I would say. KC or Baltimore represent uh, What? All right. Well, and who I, in the NFC, bro? Come on, who? say it, Eagles. It say Philly. it. It ain't Philly. Oh, oh. Well, know, guess what, what, what else it ain't? I'm not even going to wait around for your prediction, which no. is going to come in two years. You know, you call what? yourself an analyst. I'm going to call you off the show. Guess what? You're, You're right off here. the show. Marcellus You're not going to be back be for back a long while, Lee Marcellus. Off the show. You uh, uh, go back to sleep, Marcellus. Yeah. You're clearly sleep deprived, yeah, right. Marcellus. You go, you go back to the phone. Yeah. Man. You go grab your phone and have some fun. Don't worry. Now. I, I think Mel Tucker's on line two for you, Marcellus. Is he off the line? Jay, hang up the you phone. Know, you know, for you young folk trying to come up in the business, you go on a show, have your picks ready to go. It's called pre producing. Yeah, he's probably still on the line thinking about his Super Bowl pick right yeah, now. Yeah, exactly. 